Hello, my name is Lewis and welcome back to Gathering the Magic and today we are completing the Holy Trifecta of Kaldheim products. So first we had the Draft Booster and there we go, there is the Art Card. Yes, first we had the Draft Booster, then the Collector Booster and now we've got the Set Booster that we first saw in Zendikar Rising. So what we're going to get in the first pack, obviously more chance for Rares and Mythics. And the first rare is the Raven's Warning, uh, Frostbite in a common slot, Funeral Longboat for a foil, and that last card is a Foretell. <laughs> so that's probably about as bad of a set booster that you're gonna gonna open. So yeah, don't forget to like this video and subscribe for all things MTG related. We've got something very cool. Ah, oh, it's wicked out there. We've got some very cool stuff coming in the next few days. And that is a booster box opening by Meme Master Steve himself. And let's just finish off what we've got here. We've got another Saga in Fersh's Retribution. And we've got a double rare pack, Sirtland Flinger. Raven form in that four slot, so not a three rare pack. Oh, and we've got our first list card. Saber Ants obviously want those new, newer ones that have just been added, like Cavern of Souls. Obviously, there's the other Vorinclex that's been added. But yeah, Saber Ants for our first list card. Almost forgot about them for a second. There we go. But yeah, as I said, Mean Master Steve, he always buys the Caldine, not the Caldine boxes, but always buys the MTG products. And he's opened up a box himself. So that will be coming soon, which will be really, really cool. It's weird that they're this way around this time. I guess it's a nice little reveal at least. Uh, we've got a foil ice tunnel there. And we'll skip through all the commons and uncommons because they're already not really worth anything. Inga Rune is normal. Tybalt's trickery in that first rare slot. Uh, we're going to get a second. Uh, <laughs> we get it in every box. We get it several times in every box. We've got, Actually, we've got it twice in this pack, haven't we? Uh, we've got Inga Runeyes, but that alternate version sees the spoils in that foil slot. And not a list, but a spirit. Yeah, we are here for another chance to get Vorin Klex. That would be, that would be blooming lovely. And struggling to open this pack. I uh, hope they don't just wreck the card. <laughs> okay. So yeah, we've got a snow-covered swamp to start off the pack. Get through all these. Obviously, loads of similar stuff. So this pack is white and artifacty. Set boosters are sort of all themed. And okay, okay. Power of Heroes, we got it in the last pack. Love to see it again. And oh, we've got Toski. Again, packed it in the draft booster pack, but it's such a cool card to have. And I won't mind having another copy of it. Sculptor of Winter in a common slot. Really good card to play as well. Untapped Target Snowland. And a Foil Colossal Plough, which I think me and Master Steve is a big fan of. And a Dwarf Berserker to finish this pack. Yeah, so if you are unfamiliar with the set booster, it is less packs. It's 30 packs and it's 12 cards in a pack but they're designed to be more of a sort of theme that all work within each other so again here we're seeing lots of white in a pack all white and then some artifacts again a white land there and vega the watcher that alternate style is probably one of my favorite arts in this whole set and this is just a really cool commander well option as commander in the future saw it coming counter spell and foretell and Cosmos Charger in that guaranteed rare slot. Yet to hit a Mythic yet, which is surprising, but hopefully we uh, we end that soon, start getting Mythics left, right and centre. Uh, Stel Stelwart Valkyrie in the foil slot, and not another list yet. Now they say one in every four of these is a list card, so let's hope we get another one here. Really like, <laughs> obviously, there's uh, some ridiculously, ridiculously powerful uh, cards that came in the list. Some have changed. Obviously, they got rid of any ones that are related to Zendikar. And they've got in a load more icy themed ones. 
showdown of the scalds we are getting all the sagas in this box pilfering hawk nice one two inga rune eyes again starting to see this more than i saw a prickly marmoset in those aquarium boxes and reality shift from commander 19 from the list Xar target creature and a bit of manifesty action okay it's not been it's not been a banger of a box so far i did i've done two uh set boosters on this channel obviously both zendikar rising when they came out uh one of those boxes really really good one of the best boxes i've had and then another was a uh, a bit of a dud so this is this is kind of sort of a good a good test just to just to level it all out i think i'll probably stick to normal draft boosters in the future but it is fun to open nonetheless and a dragor necromancer zombie cleric action coming at you there and again, really cool using uh, ice counters as well. Boreal Outrider, not a rare. In that full slot, again, it's not a rare. It's it's not. Oh, okay. And we've got another list. This time, Sky Shroud Behemoth. That is an old card, if I've ever seen one. 1010 with that old fading. And obviously, it comes into play tap because otherwise, it would be ridiculous. But yeah, that is a that is really really cool stuff. If I'm not getting bangers, and I'm not so far, because these are all just just rare boys. Well, there's some cool there's cool things there, like Toski. Never say no to a Toski. But we're nearly a third of the way through, and it's just not hit so far. And also, these packs have definitely got a harder feel to them. And obviously, these art cards have a one in four chance of having a gold signature on. Not that I really care about that though. If I, if there's been any so far, I've probably passed it without recognising, because it's just not that exciting. Oh, but this is exciting. This is so exciting. We've got Tibalt. We've got Tibalt, one of the best cards in the set. We've got Valky, God of Lies. Obviously, that awesome DFC, and it's the uh, alternate art version. There we go. That is some good stuff. Obviously, his ultimate, exile all cards from graveyards and add a load of that delicious red mana. That is an incredible, incredible pull. And I love the art on this card, especially one of my favourites in the set. And you, Mr. Valky Tibalt, get your own, own area, broken wings and human trash. Okay, that's saved it so far. Remember to, oh, that's what I'm supposed to do, isn't it? Remember seeing other random booster videos? It's got that nice little teary slot, makes it loads easier. I look like a right pro. There we go, another art for you. Alpine Meadow Boros stuff, and it's going to be a red pack by the looks of it. Again, set boosters really cool to sort of help complete those collections. Really good option. And we've got Redain, God of the Worthy, another really cool god. Flying Vigilance and Snowlands that opponents control enter the battlefield tapped. And obviously it's that shield artifact preventing all those damage. So yeah, really, really cool card. There we go. Icebind Pillar, Master Scars. Where are these two or three rares in a pack? Where are they? I want more rares in my pack. Here we go, pro opening. Oh, oh. I biffed it. Oh no, that, oh, this is terrible, this is terrible. Welcome to the worst pack opening on YouTube. That was, that was awful. That was, oh, Tosky, that makes it better. That makes me feel better. But that was easily, that gets the award for worst pack opening I've ever done on this channel. Agar, the freeze, freezing frame, freezing flame. Glimpse the cosmos, get into the rares. We've got Graven Law. Are we going to get two rares in a pack? We are. We've got a pathway. Okay. A good pack. But when I turn this over, are we going to get three rares in a pack? A foil rare? That's the question. No, we're not. It's not even a foil. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So Slitherball and Dark Ball pathway. Really cool. DFC land. Glittering Frost. Oh, there's the foil. There is the foil. Squash. And we've got another list. There we go. What set is that? Is that, is that Lauren? What set is that? I'm not sure, but still cool cards. Scred, one red, deals damage to target creature equal to the number of snow permanents you control. 
Now I know that is not Ice Age, but I'm not sure, having a little brain freeze, of uh, what old set that's from. Okay, hopefully get better at doing that fancy little rip throughout. Okay, and what we're gonna have here, we've got Nico Aris doing some cool stuff. Okay, and going through these, we've got as the rare Egon God of Death, and I see a foil peeking out at me. No spoilers. Okay, again, Death Touch God, which you can turn around and be that Throne of Death. Nice, cool card that we've seen a few times already. Replicating Ring in the Uncommon slot. Lit Jara Kinseekers in that foil slot. Okay. Okay, we've got another list. We've got another list from Hour of Devastation. It is crusted somewhere. And go a little bit of that horse tribal. That's a really, really cool card. Well, we're getting quite a few list hits here. Nice to see. But, and big but, obviously want the filthiest of those uh, list pulls. Is it, is, is, I'm pretty sure Emrakul's on the list, is it? Uh, cool art there, Dragon Breath Berserker. Yeah, the arts, the art cards are pretty cool, but for, even from Zendikar Rise, and I've got them here. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. They just sat in my house. Uh, Crippling Fear for the rare for this pack. Oh, it's a double red red pack. <laughs> it's a double rare pack. We've got Kasima, God of the Voyage, and the Omen Keel. That that vehicle goodness there. Pilfering Hawk, uh, foil here is Invoke the Divine. There we go. Yeah, as I mentioned earlier, some point in the next in the next week, not sure exactly what day, but the channel's very own Instagram superstar, Meme Master Steve, is going to, oh, there's Cosima, is going to be opening his own box, which I've I've seen, I've seen the video. I've seen the video and it is it's some good stuff as he always does when he's at home. Oh, we've got a shapeshifter. We've got a mythic shapeshifter, as Steve always does. And he's probably given us some look here. He always packs the best stuff. Like I said, he packed that Vorinclex Phyrexian version. Uh, but enough about me, Master Steve. We've got Orvar, the all-form changeling. Love says instant or sorceries. And Spirit of the Aldergaard. Oh, okay, we forgot our first foil rare of the pack, Showdown of the Scouts. And we've got a little mini game that no one's ever going to play. Or maybe you will. Have you played any of those games? Did you play any of the games from Zendikar Rising? Let me know in the comments below. That would be cool to know. Okay, still no gold card. Okay, flick through this blue themed fact. Oh no, blue, green, blue, green, white theme pack. And we've got Finn the Fangbearer. Again, loves to show up in these boxes. Immersturm Predator, Vampire Dragon, Priest of the Haunted Edge, Foil Bloodline Pretender, and a Treasure Token. I would actually like to know as well, what, what have you pulled? What's been your best pull from Cow Time so far? I'd be really, really interested to know. Have you two got a Vorinclex? Have you got a World Tree that I can't seem to find anywhere? Let me know in the comments below. And I'll reply and try not to be too jealous. Okay, first rare, we've got Blessing of Frost. I say first rare because this pack is going to be full of rares. There we go. Cleaving Reaper. There we go. Number 376 in the set. Flying Trample, Angel Berserker. Ah, uh, maybe not. Thought it was going to be all foils. All foils, all rares. Grim Dragger and an Icy Manalith. I could be wrong, but I think that Cleveland Reaper is a card that's exclusive to uh, to this and the collector. I don't think you can get it in the standard standard draft pack. It looks like we have Quake Bringer here. Wicked stuff. And we're going blue, white. I oh, know, blue, white, black. Oh no, there's a bit of everything in this pack. Never mind the first rare being Search for Glory. And the second rare, yes! Come on then, we've got Halvar, God of Battle, in that second slot, we've got a Mythic, and it is one of the best ones, it is one yeah, that you love to see in a pack. 
Sword of the Realms. Oh, this is wicked. Another mythic for the pack opening and a really, really cool one at that. Then we've got Cole the Forge Master, Foil Frostbite. Oh god, you wouldn't belong getting frostbite. And no list. I think the lists have dried up early. Okay, there we go. It's, it's picking up now. It's, it's picking up pace a bit. I'm getting a bit better at ripping these as well, which is really good. And first gold signature. There we go. Does it say on the back it's gold? No, but it's just a it's just a Chris Ryan special signature. Okay, let's flick through the commons and uncommons until we get something amazing. Uh, 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 not amazing, just uh, just standard Eskia's chariot, frost auger. There we go. We've got another foil rare Dragor necromancer and another mini game base race. Okay, nearly two thirds of the way through and the rares pile is stacking up. But again, that is because you get so many more rares in the set booster box. Apparently, nice foil snow covered forest there. That might be worth a pound still. Who knows? What a dollar. Okay, Harold unites the elves. Good on you, Harold. Bergy, okay, yes. Another card that I always will get excited about pulling because it is just such a good card. And I saw another rare there. It's a three rare pack. Uh, Han Valhorn of Bounty, discard a card. And uh, yeah, exile cards and play them. Yeah, this is a wiki card. As I said in the last video, we'll get absolutely broken, I'm sure. And Certland Elementalist, again, those Elementalist or Certland cards. Is there's, there's like one of each color. And uh, yeah, these, again, you're not gonna find in your regular draft boosters. I think I could be wrong. I've been known to be wrong. Savella and a treasure token. Okay, three rares in a pack. And remember, you see right there, Urza's Saga. It's gonna be opened at 500 subscribers, which we're getting there. We're getting close. And uh, here, there we go. Art can go away. Yeah, 500 subs, and I'll open that Urza's Saga, get a guy's cradle, and then you'll hear a grown man cry on camera. Who wouldn't want that? Uh, Magda, Brazen Outlaw, another really cool potential option for a commander. Spirit of the Aldegard, really cool card. Really cool card. Again, mainly because of the art. I'm, a, I'm an art guy, and I really like that art. Ooh, 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 ooh. We've got John, God of Winter. We, okay, we've also got another list. But yeah, Foil Hjorn. Foil Hjorn, God of Winter. Hjorn and his horn. Um, yeah, wicked. Another card that I can't wait to maybe make a commander deck around. Really, really cool stuff. And Seething Song. Add five red mana to your mana pool. Really cool card that you love to see. Okay, that was, that was a hell of a pack, hell of a pack. As we go up to the last in the second block here, what are we gonna get? We're gonna get that, and we're gonna get this. And we're gonna get some black and green Golgari goodness here. Uh, Doomscar Titan, blood on the snow for the rare. Next one, we've got Harald again. Okay, Doomscar Oracle foil, and not another not another list, just a troll warrior. Okay, the final 10 packs. What are we going to get? Again, give me a world tree, please. Let's see what we've got. We've got Finn the Fangbearer, but not the actual card, just the art. Skip through all of these. Sent the worthy Dream Devourer in that first normal rare or mythic slot. In the second potential rare mythic slot, we get nice hold troll. Obviously, anything in this slot can be anything all the way from common to mythic. And depart the realm, which is one of the best foils in the set, in my in my probably terrible opinion. And a treasure token again. Yeah, that depart the realm foil art is just something, something else. It is something else. Okay, I think this. It's going to be the best pack of the video. There we go. I called it. I called it. And 60% of the time, I'm right. 
every single time. There's some halvar for you. So, and a foil land. Here we go. It's all coming true. Depart the realm. This is the pack. The best pack of the box. Turgrid. There we go. Okay. I could be right. I could be right. Another box and another Turgrid. Technically, it could be. It could be one of the best. It could be. What a good card to get. Cole the Forge Master. Uncommon. Not the best. Okay. This is not the best. This is not the best pack. Foil Cat. And not the list. Okay. I was wrong. But I did get Turgrid, who I think, as of right now, still is one of the more valuable cards uh, from Carol Time. So maybe if we're going pure on value, I might be right. And a nice little coma art there. I wonder if people use the art sometimes instead of the card, if they know exactly what it is. Not sure. Okay, Faceless Haven, Rare Snowland. And a Cosmos Elixir. Okay. Okay, we've got a double rare pack. It's a double rare pack. Nice to see. And we've got a list. I see a list there, but I don't want no spoilies. Uh, yeah, Icebind Pillar. Foil Elderleaf Mentor. And... A noggle head mage not a not a valuable list card but again list is a list and we will take it okay how many lists have we got so far one two three four five six seven okay all right so this we might already oh no that's a bad one again we might have already hit our list quota who knows we're not gonna have a list here because i foretell it uh, okay We've got Tybar Kel there, chilling in the tree. Okay. And what is the mythic going to be in this pack? Kolvori, God of Kinship. Another DFC. Another God. And another not Borinplex in my life. Sculptor of Winter. Pilfering Hawk Foil. And the Fortel. Okay. So yeah, it's not been... It's not been that bad a box so far, but it's not been anything to write home about. Okay. okay. Let's see. Harald again. Calamity Bearer. Giant Berserker. Lots of giants in this set, and I'm a fan of that. Okay, we've got Quakebringer again. We can't seem to escape the Quakebringer. Again, another giant. Another red giant, might I add. And a wicked, wicked card. Does a lot there. Grim Dragor, uh, Shackles of Treachery. Again, I said it in the draft box. This is, a, and I say it again a lot, but this is also one of my favourite foils. It just looks so cool. And we've got another list card, this time with Extort. And I do love Extort. I don't like Extort being used against me, but I do like Extort. Kingpin's Pet. Not a bad pack. A Mythic, a Rare, and a List. The three things that you love to see, like this. Oh, yes. That was clean. That was so clean. There we go. Another foil land. Okay, and it's another... Okay, it's a black and green themed pack. Elvish Warmaster in that rare slot. Are we going to have a second rare behind here? We're not. We're just going to get a bit of frostbite. Okay. Snakeskin Veil in that foil, and I'm totally lost, and it's just a bird. Okay, yeah, no idea on value, but maybe it might be just about on par for the box, or maybe in the last few packs, something will treat me really, really good. So look, got that land slot there. I'm glad that in England we don't have the packs where the rare comes out first. Ascendant Spirit we've got here. I'm just not... Oh, okay. Okay, Biggles. We've got double double rare pack. Not triple rare. I had to flip it over to spoil it. The Mistgate, Hengegate, Pathway. Spirit of the Aldergaard. Jarl of the Forsaken Foil. And just a Zombie Berserker. As I was saying before, I get oh so easily distracted. I think a lot of the American packs, you tend to get like a land and then the rare straight away. I don't like that. I like the I like the anticipation. I like the oh, path of the world tree art there. Probably the closest I'm going to get to the world tree itself. 
yeah, I like the anticipation. I don't want to see the, the rare in the first slot. I want to, you want to build it up, don't you? Okay, Tyrite Sanctum in that rare slot. And not a, uh, not a rare, just a Berg Strider. Foil Giant Ox. Again, me, Master Steve, loves his thick oxes. Careful study in that magic mini game that you're never going to play. But yes, but yes, we've got two packs left. Two packs left. What are we going to get? Something good. Maybe another gold signed card. No. <laughs> no. Okay. Land and the rest. Morit of the Frost. Again, get one of these in every box. And Gold Span Dragon. Okay. Okay. This is a, this is a good way to, to end, end the box. Flying Haste and Love of Treasure Tokens. This is a really, really cool card. Priest of the Haunted Edge. We've got Open the Omen Paths and a Treasure Token. That is a damn good card. I don't think I'll ever get as lucky to have a Mythic in the first Mythic slot, a Mythic in that any card slot, a Foil Mythic, <laughs> and then a, uh, a Mythic List card. I don't even know if that's possible, but... If it is, I'd love to. I'd love to see. Okay, there we go. In the last one, we've got a sinkhole. Okay, what's it gonna be? What is it gonna be? Rally the ranks. Good card, but not, not great. Not what I was hoping. Ice hide troll. Elder Fang disciple. Oh, this is a disappointing end. No list to finish off with. Just a rally the ranks. But I will flick through these quickly uh, if you are still watching then thank you very much for doing so that you have enjoyed this video if you have obviously remember to smash that like button and hit subscribe for all things mtg including the opening of this very very soon but for now i'm all tapped out so i'll see you in the next video